Here's how to remove noise in Adobe Edition, literally within a few seconds. If you end up with that pesky background noise in your voice recordings or samples, follow these two easy methods to get rid of it instantly. Both methods are perfect to clean up your vocals and samples from any hiss, hum, rumble or static noise. But beware, this is best noticeable with headphones or higher volumes. Method 1. Denoise. Denoise is a convenient tool in Adobe Edition that finds noise in your audio automatically and removes it straight away. Now to use the denoiser, open your sample in Audition first. You can drag and drop it from your computer or open it via the Files menu. Now this is what my sample sounds like. Hey, I'm Seb and welcome to Screech House. When you've added a sample, click Effects in the menu, select Noise Reduction slash Restoration and click Denoise. That will bring up the denoiser. All you need to do is tweak the amount slider. The amount determines how much noise will be removed from your audio. Each time you make a change, press the preview slash play button so you can hear it. And pro tip, you can play your audio in a loop and hear all changes continuously. Hey, I'm Seb and welcome to Screech House. Mind you though, if you use a low amount, you may not remove enough noise. Hey, I'm Seb and welcome to Screech House. But if you use a high amount, you can get artifacts such as an underwater sound. Hey, I'm Seb and welcome to Screech House. So the aim is to move the slider to a point where the noise is barely gone. Then stop and don't go any further. And this actually sounds like solid life advice I should follow. Hey, I'm Seb and welcome to Screech House. Now when you're done, simply press apply. This will remove the noise from your sample, making you a happy camper. Now let me play the sample before and after using Denoise. Hey, I'm Seb and welcome to Screech House. Hey, I'm Seb and welcome to Screech House. Now Denoise is great, but the next method might even work better. But if you don't want to miss my best strategies and shortcuts, take a second right now to Denoise the subscribe button. Method 2. Noise Reduction Noise reduction is a fantastic tool in Adobe Edition that takes a noise print and uses it to clean up your audio. The noise print is of course unique to each sample. All you have to do is select the longest noisy part in your clip that you can find. Just click and drag like this. Then open the noise reduction tool by clicking effects in the menu, selecting noise reduction slash restoration and then noise reduction. In the new window simply press capture noise print. This button will identify the noise based on your selection. When the noise has been captured, select the part of your sample you want to denoise. This is usually the entire clip, so to make it easy, click on the button that says Select Entire File. As far as the other options go, you don't really have to bother too much. Of course, feel free to experiment, but if all goes well, your sample should be clean now. And to hear that, again, press the Preview slash Play button. Hey, I'm Seb and welcome to Screech House. When you like the result, just press apply and your audio will be clean for good. Now here's the difference before and after applying noise reduction. Hey, I'm Seb and welcome to Screech House. Hey, I'm Seb and welcome to Screech House. Definitely much cleaner. Of course you want to save the changes you've made by clicking file in the menu and then save as. Check all the settings, name, location, format, etc. and click OK. But to get the most out of your sample or voice recording, you might also benefit from other effects, such as a de-esser, equalizer or compressor. But those are topics for another time. So if you want me to cover a topic, leave a comment below with your suggestion. I will read every comment. And of course subscribe to this channel so you will not miss anything.